Hi guys, welcome to my video. In today's session, I would like to do a quick demonstration on how to launch the newly introduced AWS Network Firewall. The main agenda of this video is to give you a hands-on feel on how to deploy this infrastructure in your VPC. For introduction of this network firewall, the only way you could protect your workloads in AWS was by use of network ACOs or security groups. Otherwise, another option would be to use third-party devices. In front of me, I have got this network diagram that we are going to use in this demonstration. We are going to have a test VPC created. When a connection comes from the internet, it's going to hit our internet gateway here. The internet gateway is going to force this traffic to our AWS network firewall by means of the IGW route table. In order to keep this demo simple, we are going to have our test VPC and deploy the AWS network firewall in one AZ. The network firewall is going to be sitting between the internet gateway and our subnets. Here is the flow SP diagram. Traffic will move from the internet gateway then gets manipulated by the ingress route table that we are going to create. This route table forces our traffic to go to the network firewall by referencing the firewall endpoint. Once the firewall processes the traffic, it sends it to our EC2 instance. Replies from the EC2 are sent back to the firewall endpoint by modifying our route table. Kindly note these prerequisites. Create a subnet in the same AZ as the resources you wish to protect. This subnet is going to be dedicated to the firewall. That's what we call the firewall subnet. No other resources are supposed to be in this subnet. Otherwise, the firewall will not be able to protect resources that are residing in its subnet. So make sure you dedicate this subnet for the firewall endpoint. Then create a route table with a default route to the internet gateway for this firewall subnet. Also create a new route table that we are going to attach to the internet gateway. I will show you how this is done. Let's jump into the practical. Here in my AWS console, I've got a test VPC that I've created with the CDA 192.168.0.0/16. If I go to subnets, you see that I've got an AWS firewall subnet. This subnet is going to be dedicated to the network firewall. Then I've got a customer subnet. This is where I will have an EC instance protected behind the, the firewall. Let's jump to root tables. I've got a customer route table. At the moment, you see that this route table just has a local route. It's going to be modified once we launch our firewall. I also have got a firewall subnet with a default route to the internet gateway. Then I have an IGW route table. If you look at these route tables, the customer route table is going to be associated with the subnet where I will have my EC2 instance. Then the firewall subnet route table will be associated with the subnet where I will launch our firewall. This is the firewall subnet. If you look at this route table, IGW route table, you see that it's not associated to any subnet. However, I need to associate this with the internet gateway. We do this via the edge associations. So let's go for it. Edit edge associations and select an internet gateway. That's all you are required to do. If you don't get these steps right from the beginning, your deployment is not going to work. If you go to EC2, I already have an instance running there. This is my subnet, which is going to be protected by the AWS firewall. Now let's get into business. Services, VPC, under VPC. If you scroll down, you are going to see some new stuff here. AWS Network Firewalls. Select the firewall. Create firewall. Let's give our firewall a name. Test firewall. Select the VPC. This is my VPC that I've created. Availability zone. I'm going to use 1A in this case. 
select a subnet i've labeled my subnets already aws file subnet right once you come here create and associate an empty file policy associate an existing file policy we know this is a new setup so we going to create an empty file policy then go create something is missing here let's see resource name must be set oh sorry so you need to have a name for your file policy my first file policy then you create this process takes a while i'll pause the video once the file is provisioning anyway okay as you see our file is ready now let's attach our group group as you can see our file is ready it looks like i did not save my rule group attachment let's do it again add rule create a new stateful rule i'll give a capacity of two i'll put this test rule here let's see i can just say ip ip i want any source going to my instance Add the instance IP here, 2.67 slash 32. Forward to inspection. I want to allow add rule. now everything is ready but before this file can be made use of we need to modify our route tables let's go to the route tables i want you to take note if you go under endpoints you can see there's an endpoint created in our file of vpc let's see it the subnet here this is the interface ID of the endpoint. This is the actually the firewall endpoint. You copy that. Go to your route tables. Let's start with the IGW route table. Under routes, you edit routes. I'll add the address of the instance. In fact, I'll add the whole subnet for the instance put your interface you are going to notice that this interface ID is going to change to an endpoint name in the route table see then it becomes VPC that's a VPC endpoint this is the way you route traffic to the firewall from the internet gateway we go to our firewall subnet you don't need to change this one default traffic must go back to the internet gateway now you go to your customer route table you edit it as well put a default route to that same interface which is the file endpoint save that you see the file endpoint appears to refresh we go back to our diagram our internet gateway route table with the route pointing to the VPC endpoint ID, which references our firewall endpoint. Here we go. Internet gateway route table, traffic destined to the subnet must be forced to the firewall. Then, Firewall subnet our uh, 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network. The route table must point to the internet gateway. Firewall subnet look at the routes pointing to the internet gateway. Customer route table where our EC2 instance resides, default gateway is the firewall. I'll go to the EC2. So this is my instance with IP 192.168.2.67. If you look at the networking, it's 
sub DTA, go to the route table, the route, default route is the firewall. I'm going to connect to our instance. You see that I should be able to connect regardless of the fact that we don't have an internet gateway in its routing table. Let me copy. How to connect? Copy into my terminal. You see, I'm connected. I'm now on the instance. Let's go to our firewall policy and drop all traffic to this instance and see that we can't connect if all is working as expected. VPC. Go to our firewall policies. So inside our firewall policies, you've got the rule group. The rule groups is where you add your rules. Let's edit the rule. Let's change this to a drop. Save. OK. Now we go to our terminal again. Exit. Now I'll try to connect again. You can see my SSH is no longer working. Just to make it more visible, let's, I'll go back to that instance. Copy again. We can't connect anymore. The firewall is dropping the traffic. Let's go back to the VPC. Back to our rules. Let's change this. Edit. Pass. Save. Go back to our connection. Back, I mean back into my instance. I think this is now giving you a few of how the AWS network firewall works. The agenda for this video, as I say, was to give you that quick demo to see how you deploy this kind of firewall. I hope this video gave you a general idea on how to deploy the AWS network firewall. Thank you.